Hello everybody, welcome back to the COK Smash Bros. Trail. And this is going to be becoming Roy, the young lion. So, just to get a little fire little premise out of the way, Roy, well yes, he is from Final Fantasy series, he is not Roy's brother. They do not share the same universe, and they're not related in any sort of way, so don't go saying bad information. Now that I got that little fire of lore ish out of the way, let's begin with uh, the actual character analysis. So, if you watch my other character analysis on Marth, I'll put up an attention for that right now, you will know that Marth needs to get the tip of the blade to deal the most damage. Well, Roy is the complete opposite of that. If he gets a tip, he deals less damage, however he wants, he wants to get the hilt to deal more damage. And for those of you who are not that, don't know that much about sword, swords, hilt is, a tip, is the, the starting part of the blade. So I'll point that for you guys, this guy, meaning the closer you are to them with, with your moves, the more damage and or knockback you'll deal. I'll show, I'll show it real quick. So if I got the spacing properly, I deal 12% damage with my F smash without getting the tip. Uh, with the tip. Now, if I go get the hilt with the F smash, my smash now deals 20, an astounding 8%, and as you can see, a lot more knockback than the tip of the blade. That means you have to get up close and personal with the moves if you want to get the hit good hitbox of it. So, Despite his moves being nearly identical in movement, so you know it's down. They're all they're basically the same except for Mar to Marts. They do they all act differently based if you get the hilt or the tipper. And I'll be covering the differences between them in the next video. So let's cover his strengths. Roy's strength is that his ability to kill really early with his tilt because much like Marth, it is very exaggerated. But even farther than Marth's, meaning there is even bigger risk and reward to it. His down tilt is amazing because you can easily fall up with the down tilt F smash, something Marth wished he had to be so easy to do. He has a ridiculously strong F smash. As you see, 20%. Marth only deals 1% more damage than Roy does. That means. All on top of that, it also kills earlier than Falco's F Smash, which is one deb debatably one of the best kill moves in the game, at least horizontally. His counter is really strong, allowing for gimps on characters who have gimps uh, who have hitboxes on their cover, meaning Fox and Falco. Not only that, but also has a lot of just bare damage to it. So if I set the air to attack, I have to counter it. Will you attack me? Nope, I guess not, but if you are, his counter can do up to 36% off of blocking a standard F smash. That is a lot of damage and even more knockback. That's not even counting the hilt of the blade, meaning you can kill very early if you are really good at the counters. However, don't spam the, that because your opponent will catch on and your counter will just do less damage overall. His recovery is only slightly weaker than Marth, but in his own way. And on top of that, he also shares the same weakness as Marth. On, on top of that, his speed is almost as fast as Marth, meaning you can't do the fame dash dance grab combo. And just to wrap it up, uh, strength, his grab range is, is very close to Marth. As you can see, it is somewhat large. As you can see, I am able to do a simple regrab. I'm not able to do a regrab like Marth can, however, I can, a simple step forward I can do it. Now to his weaknesses. For some reason, he falls a lot faster than Marth without actually weighing more. Meaning he does get killed at the same percent as Mark does, but he's just somewhat heavier. He's noticeably... Well, his recovery is exploitable since he does fall faster than Mark, as you can see here. And is, again, his area mobility isn't that good. On top of that, his up B doesn't come out as fast, meaning it is easy to exploit. However, it does have a stronger hitbox to it. So you can get knocked out of it because it isn't as instant or fast as Marth as a body. His recovery B is side B, although I did like that cool Marth, he does fall down faster than Marth, meaning he will have less opportunities to do side B, meaning he'll get less bang for his buck on his side B. Getting the hilt versus the tip of the blade is a lot more exaggerated on Marth. In some scenarios with the S smash on Marth, Getting the hilt of the blade is actually better than getting this middle part of the blade on Marth. Well, getting with Roy, if you get a tip of the blade at say 100%, you won't end up killing. I'll, I'll show right here. So let me pop his percentage real quick. That was a tip of the blade. That was that was around the slashing part of the blade. Oh well, yes, it is exaggerated. Yeah, I'll show you up here. Right there, that is pitiful knockback. 
but if Mark got the help of the blade, he would be doing a lot more knockback if Ro is out 100%. So, it's, again, it's a lot more exaggerated on his weaknesses than Marth was, but that hence why Marth is just a better character. His unique trait, he has the strongest counter in the game, which is very useful to do. His death smash can kill ridiculously early, and his neutral B, being his Fleur Blade, I believe it's called, has a lot of knockback. It is very similar to Marth, although, it, and uh, it does that, it is a lot stronger, but deals damage to himself. And in Smash 4, it also is a Smash 4 MPM, it is also a one-hit KO. I mean, even in melee, I think it is, it is a one-hit KO, meaning if you land the full charge spell blade, or flare blade, you will guarantee kill your opponent in one hit. Bam. Dead. Instantly. So, good stage of matchup. Due, due to the similarities to Marth, his, ma his good matchups and bad matchups are nearly identical, however, with his weaknesses being amplified, some matchups that would be usually good for Marth could actually be bad for Roy or good for Roy, I mean, as an example, the Sheik matchup. He does battle, he does bad on stage of Lord Blast Zone because he, his arrows lack a lot of kill power, even compared to Marth, I can see there. It doesn't pop him up, meaning you can't follow up on it. So he has an even more exaggerated weakness to kill than Marth does. Meaning, in some scenarios, Roy would be a lot in a lot more scenarios, Roy would be a lot worse. So, Roy is your boy if you like killing your opponent by getting up close and personal with them. 